49th state from the beginning one of the concepts was because it it's represents the state of alaska we wanted to start looking at representing everything that was under that umbrella and it's a big state right one of the ideas when we started 49th state brewing company was to go ahead and showcase all the beautiful alaskan artifacts and artists that basically uh, live in alaska and so we started incorporating more local products more local artists more local knowledge our focus actually becoming hyper local using local ingredients because this this concept of uh, farm to table I, I i just call it it's just common sense keeping the money in going in circle within the state from birch syrup coming out of Talkeetna to sea salt coming out of Homer, the spruce tips coming out of the southeast. At the foundation of our company was being a great Alaskan hospitality company, right? And being a part of a great company and me and David's vision is obviously giving back to the community. And we've been doing that for year after year, you know, whether, whether it's up in Denali National Park or here in Anchorage. So we looked at the challenges in, in the community. We said, okay, we have places like the Ark that have people that are looking for jobs and jobs that at a specific pace that can help them out. Bringing in uh, folks who need opportunities to go ahead and find job placement. We're teaching people like life skills here and to me we start at a level for somebody that basically is just maybe fighting to stay out of homelessness. Supporting local small sports and educational programs to go ahead and do fundraising for nonprofits and local community organizations that want to use this facility. And these programs that were, were that are offered are great programs but they need businesses like us, 49th State, to actually believe in what they're doing. And to me, I really look at the 49th State as a stepping stone of pushing the envelope in these, in these categories.